Hello and welcome to Baseball Lifer. Tonight, I'm really excited because I've been asked time and time again, the secret as far as young pitchers are concerned, and I have, this topic is near and dear to my heart. I've been a pitching coach now for many decades. My son, Tyler, and my son, Kyle, both pitched in college. They both had strong arms, but the number one pitch that separated both of them was the changeup. Okay, I'm going to talk to you tonight about the changeup because you get a lot of different people out here with different backgrounds talking about a changeup. You should Google and try to look up on YouTube, and I'm going to share with you in this video a few of Tyler's changeups this year and from years past. It's a highly effective pitch for pitchers of all age groups because it's safe, Number one. Number two, it helps you miss barrels. And number three, it helps create soft contact, which is either, either a pop-up or a routine ground ball. So I'm going to talk about the size of your hand. A lot of people get carried away with that. But we have the accelerator fingers, and then we have the decelerator fingers. The decelerators are these three. The accelerators are these two. A baseball, okay, here... We take our middle finger over our thumb here and here, and that's going to be our fastball. We can spread our fingers out a little. That's a, a, a four-seam fastball. Anything on the railroad tracks here, that's going to be a two-seam fastball. But our changeup is a myriad of different ways. All we want to do is just hold it looser. We don't want to create any tension in our grip. So we can hold it. My, my son, Tyler, has three change-up grips. This one he calls Casper, okay? Casper the Friendly Ghost, okay? And by that he means all I want to do is have my fingers on the leather, the white part of the leather. As you can see here, my fingertips are all on the leather. I always suggest to young children trying to have your thumb in the middle of the baseball so that you aim your thumb at that target, just thinking about letting that thumb get out to the catcher. The other ways you can do this is by, if you want to throw a two-seam changeup, we can get into the railroad tracks with our middle and our index finger, and we can just put lightly on the sides, holding it with our index and our pinky finger, just like this. The secret to a good changeup is a nice, loose grip. Nice and loose. We don't want any tension. We don't want to try to have it stuck in our hands. Anything that feels comfortable to your student athlete, you have a box grip where you have one, two, three, you have that. You have the four seam change up where you like to get more of these three fingers involved. Okay, and what's going to happen naturally, you don't have to force it. Don't worry about this whole uh, having to have this OK symbol on the ball and, and doing all of this here. That's something for when student athletes get older. You don't have to make that circle grip over here and you don't have to worry about that circle. It's all about where the ball is in position to the palm of your hand and on your fingertips. And you want to throw this like a fastball. We do not want any deceleration of the arm. The grip is going to do all the work. Now, here's the tip. Make sure your student athlete plays catch with their changeup. Every single day, play catch with your changeup. And I always encourage parents, have your child, have your student athlete, have a small target in hopes of a small miss. Meaning if we were playing catch, if my son and I were playing catch, I'd want him to aim for the logo on my head and try to miss in this general area. Don't just set yourself up as a big target. Make it like the Blue Book logo here, the Rawlings logo here. Make sure there's a specific target and have your son or daughter make sure that their thumb is going towards that particular part of your body. Playing catch and long toss with your changeup at younger ages is going to help your child become a better pitcher when they want to be a better pitcher at the older age groups. Now, here's the other thing. Children at younger ages just need to get comfortable with the grip. 
Stop worrying about the results. Stop trying to fool hitters. Yes, your son or your daughter is going to give up long fly balls that might go a long way for a home run. Does not matter. Allow them to get comfortable with their grips. Allow them to find a grip where eventually there'll be 8 to 10 miles an hour of separation between the four or two seam fastball and their changeup. I promise you, if you want to be a starting pitcher, when you get older, the changeup is going to be the pitch that gets you into a starting rotation. If you have any questions pertaining to the changeup that either Tyler or myself can answer for you directly, leave them down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video today, spread the word, tell a few people. Let's get a few signups and a few registrations. We're going to do the curveball grip next. Thank you very much.